What's up guys, it's Brad from JBH Media here, back again with another Blender quick tip and breakdown. Today I'm going to be going over how to use a uh, Z-Pass to composite some stock footage with your CG, so let's get to it. So here we have the under-rendered shot inside of Blender, and what I've done here is I've fractured this asteroid and uh, dropped it over the geometry that I modeled of this building, and it... Uh, ran a little rigid body simulation and added some constraints to make it fall the way it does. So uh, I'm not going to be going into that for this tutorial, but there are plenty of other tutorials out there you can learn from. So once you get the shot set up and you uh, get the materials right for whatever object you're rendering, uh, I think in this case I used an asphalt material for the diffuse layer and a, uh, <clears throat> then added a specular map of some sort. Um, so once you get all the materials set up, you're going to create two different output nodes, one of the beauty pass and one for your Z pass. And it's a little it's a little tricky to get the Z pass, but I'll put put a picture up there um, that shows you how to get that rendered out. <coughs> so once you get these two uh, render layers rendered out in uh, your shot, you can bring them into your compositor of choice. In this case I use After Effects. I'm sure you could also do this inside the Blender compositor, but for in this case, I'm just using After Effects. So once we're inside After Effects here, I'm going to bring the uh, bring some stock footage and overlay it on our asteroid asteroid impact here. The shot looks all right, but I think we could make it uh, make the stock footage integrate a little bit better if we added the Z depth pass. <clears throat> what that's going to do is it's going to let the uh, let the dust through only at those places where it's white. Um, and kind of use that as a gradient. You can make the dust move inside the asteroid more or be, on, be more on the outside. Kind of tweak with the settings a little bit and you get this final image. And this really uh, really adds a lot of realism. You can just composite your stock footage a lot better. It's not all two-dimensional. It just adds that 3D look to it. So yeah, I hope this helps. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. The JBH Media Facebook page is in the description there. If you want to like it there to get the latest updates, go for it.